If you ask YouTubers why they make YouTube videos, they might say, it's the fame, it's the fortune, but not me, baby. For me, it's the friends. And sometimes your first YouTube friend is a fellow style-based artsy YouTuber named Liz over at Beep World. And sometimes you drive six hours just to go thrifting with her, because why not? So let's hit the road to Washington, DC, meet up with Liz, and see what we can find. Get in, loser. We're going thrifting. You're not a loser. I feel bad for saying that. Let's go. Hi, so I'm on my way to go pick up someone very exciting. Also, I'm in Maryland and there's an Ikea right there. Lots of exciting things today. So this is Liz, aka Beeps, and if you don't already subscribe to her, get your life together, man. Come on. She's also posting a thrifty video featuring our adventures, so if you'd like to see that, check out my description box, Ooh. and let's get on with the thrifting. This is the chair. Isn't this so cute? Yes. It's so little. Incredible. We've barely made it three steps and we're already getting stuck. <laughs> we're not even inside yet. <laughs> Uh-oh. She's got a type, my friend. She's got a type. Okay, we're looking through the dresses. Hi, I'm here. Hi. Do we love it? Do we hate it? Painting is a very sexual energy. I don't think I'm into the shoulder pads. We're going through the not inconsiderable task of sorting this <laughs> cart right now. As we sort, it really emphasizes how much to it. Yeah. <laughs> Wish us luck. This is a shirt I found for Liz. What do we think? It's very saucy. Are there shoulder pads in it? No. Just naturally. Have those shoulders. Get you a girl who has shoulders. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> okay, Liz found this amazing Regency esque barmaid. I didn't even notice the bows on the shoulders. Unfortunately, my body is too powerful for it, so <laughs> it doesn't stand a chance. But how beautiful. This is my new identity. Uh, feels good to be home. I mean, that was obviously a really fun trip, but it was a lot of driving, and I just love bed. I love bed. Would you like to do a cozy haul of the things I found featuring my emotional support blanket? All right, I found three things, and they are all gems. And one of them has enormous potential. Let's talk about that. So this dress is pretty similar to a lot of dresses I have. It's more of a house coat, muumuu style. But it's similar because it's long, it's comfy, it has a cool pattern. However, there are two things that I don't like so much, two things that I wanna change. First, I don't love the neck and shoulder area. The dress is super flowy and cozy, like I said, but when you pair that with the super rounded neckline and the super sloped shoulders, it really feels like pajamas. And I like a little more structure up here. Second, I'd like to try something a little bit shorter. I'm thinking something closer to the ever so popular micro baby doll dress, a la Selkie. That way we can show a little bit of leg and maybe even wear it as a shirt too. So we're gonna do a little bit of an upcycle. And then the other two pieces I got, I've been looking for more like elevated basics layering pieces and this silk blend square neck tank top with this cool toile print is literally perfect. I cannot wait to have this peeking out from under button ups or other tanks. Then I got this amazing kind of taro colored billowy button up that has just the biggest sleeve holes. They're like as big as my face. Feels very business clown like we talked about last week. So let's work on upcycling our dress and then we'll style all three pieces at the end. Let's do this thing. 
Okay, first things first, I found a dress pattern that fit the bill and printed her out. I went with this puff sleeve dress pattern from Pattern Couture on Etsy. But spoiler alert, the sizing ended up being a little bit wonky for me, but maybe you're better at sewing than I am and we'll do a better job. I didn't know you were in here. I'm gonna need you to evacuate the premises. I'm gonna make the first cut of this flip. Basically, I just wanna save this bottom ruffle and we'll just use that as the skirt so I don't have to make a whole new skirt and we'll have an added ruffle. Boom. I look like an egg. That looks a little short, doesn't it? Hmm. You wanna know something kind of so messed up. The first way that comes to mind still to this day for me to know if a skirt is quote unquote too short is to check to see if it would get me a dress cut in high school. Had to be longer than your fingertips. No dress cut for me, Mr. Flores. Anyways, I think that's enough for tonight. I'll see you in the morning with a hot bev and some hot goss. I don't know what the hot goss is gonna be, but we'll find out together. Good night. Good morning. Oh, hot Bev. Hold on. Okay, I came planned with like funny hot gossip to share with you, but then now I actually have hot gossip to share with you. You're not gonna believe who dropped their camera this morning and has to film on their phone now because it's broken. It's me, bitch. But that's not gonna stop us. And we have a thrift flip to fit. Flip. We have a thrift flip to finish. <laughs> well, sometimes my own strength surprises me. Okay, so last night when I cut out all of the pattern pieces, I learned that I do, in fact, need to use another contrasting fabric for some part of the dress. So I think what we're gonna do is keep the skirt and the sleeves, the cute blue fish pattern, and probably the bow in the back as well. And then we'll just do the bodice, another pattern. You know I like a little mix match moment. So I have a lot of this and I think that actually looks pretty good and it has the matching blue, tie it all together. We got a lot of options, folks. You may notice that this isn't really a sewing tutorial, more of a sewing experience, a story. If you do wanna check out the pattern, I have it linked down in my description box. But here I am working on the bodice and the back pieces, as well as the cute little back ribbon. Making lining was something that I'd never done before, so that was a bit of a learning curve for me. But overall, this pattern was fun and I would say moderately friendly to beginners. Houston. We have a bodice. So let's moment of truth, try her on. Hmm. I don't think this pattern is especially bigger bust friendly because the front, super tight, no circulation, but the back, wow. So I might have to do some surgery. We're gonna make these holes bigger and then I'm gonna give this a little nip and a tuck in the back and we should be good. It's not bad. Okay, the back's pretty bad. Another day. Don't look at that. Another camera, remember this little guy? You know, I used this camera, the one that I'm recording on, for a year before I upgraded to the one that I just broke. And I never realized it could do this. A little too fast for you, huh? Last night when we last chatted, I was like, I got the bodice done, we just gotta attach the skirt. I forgot that I had to make entire sleeves, puff sleeves to be specific. But don't you worry, I did it. This turned out exactly how I wanted. But let me just show you. The swoosh. The swoosh. So now that the dress is done, of course we have to do a couple little outfits featuring all of the other thrifted stuff I found. Before that, let's talk about the dress. You'll notice that it's not just this clean vertical line right here because I actually had to open up the bodice and allow a little more room in the front, but in the back, she's a little floppy and I actually already took out like three inches of fabric from the back. All that to say, it's totally customizable if you need it to be. And I think it's so sweet. If Selkie came out with a more like casual cottage corey line, of dresses this would fit right in so now that the hard work is done it is time to play dress up
The patterns and colors and shape of this dress just make me so happy. I guess the whole thing just makes me really happy. It's super cute on its own, but I'm also digging this layered look. I think the three levels of layers add kind of a fun tiered effect. And check out how cute my DIY Spirited Away denim jacket looks cropped up like this. Don't worry, I just pinned it. I didn't actually crop it. But if you want to see how I made it, I have a whole video about it. I really like the idea of having like a croppable jacket. Like if I added some snaps on the inside lining to be able to just snap it up. Maybe add one in the back too. What do you think? Future DIY? Could be fun. I just really can't believe this purple shirt. It's like it was made for me, which is interesting because the label said it was custom tailored. So thank you, Body Twin from DC. You can wear it with the sleeves pushed up, keep them down, wear it over a shirt. The possibilities are truly endless and this is just the quintessential cool gal summer accessory. Sir? She just had to have a little clothing nap in the pile of clothes that my tripod was sitting in. Rest easy, sweet prince. Don't mind us. You wanna know one of my toxic traits? When Liz and I were thrifting, she picked out this really cool, like bright red chore coat button up. Not too dissimilar from this. She's like, this would look really cool on you. And I tried it on and it did look pretty cool. But I was like, mm, I just have too many button ups already. That's not really the kind of blouse I need right now. And then I find this and uh, apparently I needed it. I mean, you can't deny this is special. All right, let's talk about our silky patterned tank friend. It adds a fun, illustrative detail to any old outfit, but I was most excited about trying some layering to give it a more historical, Lil House on the Prairie feeling. I am Laura Ingalls wildin' out for this combo. And the bolo tie? Wow, 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 wow. Well, what did you think? Let me know what your favorite find was from this video. And I think, well, I would say that this dress is my favorite, but actually I think my favorite was the friends we found along the way. Aww. Speaking of, make sure you go check out Liz's video. It is linked down in my description box. And if you're here from Liz's video, hello, welcome. I hope you'll stick around and we can keep this thrift train a rolling, baby. If you're interested in more personal styling videos, here's one I made recently about wearing your formal items in a more cool, casual way. And if you're in the mood for more thrifting videos, then here's my thrifting playlist that I think has over 14 hours of thrifting goodness. So go hog wild, have fun. I'll be back next week with another video. So until Till then, tell your dog I said hi and that I think they're very stinky and I love you. Okay, bye.